At 5.42 a.m., Northern Black Sea, a Russian patrol ship, the Vasily Bikov, scans the horizon. Its radar sweeps, a predator searching for prey. Suddenly, alarms shriek. A Ukrainian Magura V-5 drone bursts into view, fast, loud, and screaming for attention. Missiles arm, turrets track, all eyes lock forward. But no one notices the innocuous maintenance buoy drifting silently behind them, until it opens fire. One question, how do you cripple a $60 million warship using a decoy that costs less than a used car? Spoiler, you don't need a navy. You just need the right disguise, the right distraction, and the audacity to hide your weapon in plain sight. In the next nine minutes, you'll see how a simple buoy became the ultimate Trojan horse, why the ship's advanced radar saw everything but the real threat, the precise intel that made this ambush possible, how Ukraine is rewriting the rules of naval warfare with ingenuity, not industry. This is the modern kill chain, rebuilt with off-the-shelf tech and sheer tactical brilliance. Did you know? A weaponized buoy can drift for days within meters of a warship without raising suspicion, and it can deliver a knockout blow before the crew even knows it's there. That's not luck, that's the future of combat. Here's how it happened. Subscribe for Frontline Tactics, Tech Breakdowns, and Real Battlefield Innovation. This isn't history, it's happening now. The Russian patrol ship Vasily Bikov cuts through the steel gray waves of the Black Sea, on duty, on guard, and utterly blind to what's coming. Ahead, a Ukrainian Magura V-5 drone slices through the swell. It's loud, aggressive, and impossible to ignore. On the bridge, radar warnings flash crimson. The signature is clear, a direct threat. Contact, unmanned surface vessel, engaging. The ship's CIWS system spins up with a terrifying mechanical whine, its barrel seeking a target. Every sailor on deck stares at the incoming drone, their training screaming at them to focus on the clear and present danger. And in that moment of perfect, manufactured distraction, their fate was sealed. Because behind them, a floating maintenance buoy, a piece of maritime furniture they logged and dismissed hours ago, quietly cracked open. Inside, a silent killer awakened. A jet-powered effector emerged, its crosshairs already fixed on the ship's unprotected stern. The hunter just became the prey. The open sea is a mercilessly exposed battlefield. A shipboard radar can see everything. An overt missile launch from the coast would light up Ukrainian defenses, inviting devastating counterfire and risking political escalation. Ukraine had no navy to speak of. They couldn't win a gunfight. So the dilemma was stark. How do you sink a warship without a warship? How do you get close without being seen? The answer was to split the kill chain. The weapon didn't need to cross the entire sea itself. It just needed a forward spotter. A hidden eye that could provide the final, precise targeting data without the ship ever realizing it was being painted. The solution was to turn the sea's own clutter into a weapon. It was a symmetry. Force the opponent to make a choice and then punish him for the choice he was always going to make. The decoy was the Magura V5 drone. Loud, fast, and erratic. It screamed across the surface, a spectacle designed to mimic a larger threat and grab the Baikov's full attention. It was the fight their training had prepared them for. A classic threat that demanded a classic response. Lock radars, train guns, and focus every ounce of effort on the obvious danger. But the real enabler was the disguise. An autonomous maintenance buoy. In any contested water, such buoys are routine, bobbing monuments to maritime bureaucracy. Used for monitoring currents, aiding navigation, or collecting data, they are the wallpaper of the sea. They drift, they are logged, they are ignored. This one was a perfect copy, its international orange paint and innocuous antennae projecting utter harmlessness. But inside its watertight hull, it housed a compact terminal effector and a stable frequency hopping telemetry link. It didn't look like a weapon, it looked like background noise, and that was its genius. The precision effect was unleashed from this hidden perch. This entire operation hinged on precise intelligence, knowing the Baikov's patrol route days in advance to position the buoy perfectly in its path 
a task likely achieved through a combination of satellite imagery and electronic signal interception. From its hidden perch, the buoy could provide perfect targeting data, or launch its weapon without a single coastal radar ever switching on. The doctrine behind it all was distributed lethality. This wasn't about exotic hardware. It was a brutal lesson in systems thinking. A cheap, ubiquitous platform shifted the entire geometry of risk. The defender was forced to reallocate sensors, overcommit attention, and accept gaps. The technology was simple. The design was brilliant. A masterclass in making the enemy look where you want them to look, and then striking where they would never think to look. 5.40 AM. The Magura drone roared along the ship's starboard flank, buzzing like a hornet. On Bikov's bridge, alarms sounded. Contact, unmanned surface vessel, engaging. Searchlight swung. The AK-630 close-in weapon system spun up with a mechanical whine, its twin 30 millimeter cannons erupting with 10,000 rounds per minute. Tracers walked across the water, trying to lead the zigzagging drone. The ship was fully committed. Every sensor and sailor focused on the spectacle. 5.42 AM. In the acoustic shadow of the ship's own gunfire, the maintenance buoy's hull split open. A compact effector, no larger than a briefcase, was ejected. Its electric motor spun up to a near-silent whirr. It climbed to a mere five meters altitude and began its final approach, arcing toward the Bikov's unprepared stern. The operator, watching a pixelated feed from the buoy, lined up his shot. The effector struck the hull near the waterline. Its shaped charge detonated in a nanosecond, the Monroe effect focusing the explosion into a jet of molten metal moving at 7,000 meters per second. The 15 mm Metimotero steel plate offered the same resistance as tissue paper. The jet punched through, spraying molten copper into the auxiliary machinery space. Fuel lines ruptured. Salt water poured into the gash. The ship shuddered violently, its speed bleeding away. Smoke poured from the wound. The Ukrainian operator of the Magura, seeing the hit, seized the opportunity. He pushed his drone forward. With Bikov's guns still searching the waves and its crew scrambling to contain the flooding, the Magura slipped through. It slammed into the superstructure just below the bridge. The explosion was deafening. Windows blew out. The primary radar antenna crashed into the sea. Comms dissolved into static. The CIWS, now blind and without guidance, fired uselessly into the empty sky. The patrol ship, once confident, was now a blind, deaf, and crippled hulk, dead in the water. The immediate impact was clear. The Vasily Bikov did not sink that night, but it was left combat ineffective. Its bridge was shattered, primary sensors destroyed, and its propulsion train crippled, requiring a costly tow and months of repairs. Economically, the damage ran into the tens of millions of dollars. Operationally, Russia instantly lost a key surveillance node, forcing it to pull other ships back and rethink its entire Black Sea posture. For Ukraine, the strike ripped open a temporary corridor for grain shipments and logistics. Psychologically, it was an earthquake. It punctured the aura of Russian maritime invincibility. If a simple maintenance buoy could be weaponized, then the entire Black Sea became a hunting ground. Every wave could hide a predator. The calculus of naval dominance had changed overnight. One decoy, one buoy, two strikes, a multi-million dollar warship neutralized. This is the new face of naval warfare. It's not about the biggest hull or the biggest gun. It's about the smartest plan and the best hidden blade. If a cheap boy and a commercial drone can bend the map, what happens when AI-guided swarms enter the fray? The age of hiding in plain sight has begun. And in this new era, the greatest threat isn't the weapon you see, it's the one you've already learned to ignore.